honest, a little bit um, of a surprise for me. It's, I think it's been well documented over the years that um, I was named on the bench. My mum and dad was in Cyprus at the time on holiday. I was just overwhelmed, and then with our support there, we, it was it was un unbelievable. I had like five of my mates there, my dad and obviously my family and that, and my mum and dad and, and my uncle and that. It was just it was uh, unbelievable. The emotion of coming on um, in front of the crowd and playing and then coming off at the, after and being in the change room with the first team and just, it was like a bit in awe of everything. And then, um, yeah, and then realising my wife at the time now, but my girlfriend then was uh, waiting in the players' lounge for me and um, we decided to walk home because it was only um, through sort of East Ham and over the bridge to Beckton. It was uh, just a surreal feeling, really. It's gone so quick since then as well, really quick. We used to play here and you weren't allowed off the curb and he wasn't allowed off that curb. And if you scored, it bounced back to you and you get another shot, you know? Hey, Dan, nice to see you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. When I saw you from upstairs, I thought I recognised you from somewhere. Yeah, you used to chase me, that's why. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had a photo, I've got, still got a photo in my house on the wall of um, me running in for Lamps' penalty and Jimmy saving it with his knees, doing it with his legs. And three of my mates, three of my best mates are in the, in the crowd, in the background, and you can see their faces, you know, like in shock, as in uh, just before Jimmy saved it. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great photo. I've, I, this is what this, this shirt reminds me of, actually. I've, I've actually taken it off after the game to change with lamps. And um, uh, I just, I looked such a small kid compared to him. I was tiny and the shirt was, that was probably the same shirt, extra large. But it was significant, um, the Chelsea game, because it was the debut of Mark Noble. He gives us real hope because he's a, he's a player with um, a natural gift for football. Uh, he's a free spirit on the pitch and they're really, really hard to find a player like that. He loves West Ham and uh, his emergence has been probably the high point for me this season. Because I remember Pard turning around saying, get ready, and I think it was like 40 minutes into the game and I was like, what now? And um, but whether it was just after half time or half time, um, but yeah, I got got quite a lot of the ball, and it was a great game to be involved in. And I remember Pards calling me in his office and saying, um, "I'm going to play you tomorrow," and uh, it was just like, "All right, uh, Spurs away, incredible, incredible game." I think we drew one all. I actually scored. I see it the other day, but it was offside. Um, maybe it would have counted now with VAR, but it, you never know. And it was. Uh, yeah, just, just, just then, you know, it's different now. You become accustomed to playing and you, know, to fans and accustomed to your mates. But, yeah, that was a, a real special moment playing at White Lane against Michael Carrick and Edgar Davids, which was uh, fantastic. When you look at that shirt and you think all of us standing there cheering with the crowd at the end of, uh, at the, end of the game. Tevez, Zamora, and Tevez! Carlos Tevez is man on the spot. How many years ago that was now? 13 years. 13 years ago, yeah. Amazing how quick that goes. Um, and I think that is, I think that's the real beauty of the memories you get. You know, it's mad because you do look at the shirts and they remind you of certain players and certain times. Um, and that one, you're right, is, is Manchester United away and, and Carlos is... Um, what a memory that was. You know, I remember, and I remember looking up... At the clock, I think it was 15 minutes to go, and uh, <laughs> and Ginge, Ginge was kept on talking to me, saying like, "We're nearly there. 15 minutes to go. He's going. This is the longest half in history." <laughs> but uh, yeah, brilliant. When I picture this shirt, it reminds me of uh, Ricardo Vazte mm -hmm. um, and the playoff final. Just a real. Iconic moment for the football club. Uh, any uh, last comments, Mark, for the game? Uh, I'm excited, Joe, to be honest. You're yeah, not talking to Scottish Sports now, so you're not going to put on a different voice. <laughs>
after the game at Wembley, I went straight onto my stag do. Um, Good remember it at Wembley. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I know because I played at the other one at Thingy, didn't yeah. we? Um, yeah. yeah, I remember going, getting straight on a uh, in a I think it was on a motorbike actually, a Virgin Courier bike, straight to Heathrow and going on my stag do. I remember asking Big Sam a couple of weeks before, saying, "Look, if if we uh, if we win it." I'm getting married a week later, so I need to get, have a stag do at some point. So, yeah, it was, uh, you can imagine what it was like um, getting promoted, winning, winning uh, the playoff final, and then, and then going straight on to a stag do. It's probably one of the best weeks of my life that I had five days away with the boys and then flew home and got married and honeymoon. It was just incredible, yeah. When I just see this kit, I see Ravel in it um, and Joe Cole when he come back, uh, but Ravel at Spurs away. Um, I remember we was training with Big Sam and uh, he went, we're not going to play a striker. We're gonna sort of going to play a box in midfield because we didn't have a striker fit at the time, I don't think. And, um, yeah, it worked a treat. And um, that, that goal from Rav, uh, still speak to him every now and then. I've got a, got a lot of respect for him. I think he's a, he's a great kid and uh, he was a special, special footballer. Um, and for that time at West Ham, some of the things I've seen him do was incredible. West Ham players love someone with that sort of ability and skill and uh, sorry West Ham fans love that they love like that sort of hero like Paolo was and um, and I mean Rav will go down in history with West Ham just because of that goal he scored against Spurs for sure it just says uh, Dimitri Payet doesn't it and it says uh, the last ever game at the bowling that's how I remember it um, and looking looking back that season, we was we was so good at times. Probably two or three results cost us a Champions League spot actually. Um, but yeah, so that was that was one of the best seasons I've ever had for sure. Um, not just personal, but the way we played, um, the feeling what was in the football club at the time. Um, Obviously, we knew it was the last ever season at Upton Park, and what a special place that was. To um, so yeah, it was uh, that was that was one of the best seasons at this club. For, uh, I, I know I think fans would say that as well. Um, to watch the way we played that year, and to watch Dimmy um, coming to West Ham as sort of unknown. Uh, obviously, we knew he was a good player, but um, I don't think anyone quite knew how good he actually was. And, um, at times. Lock it, lock it. I was so proud of as a as a as a captain of the football club to lead us out of that stadium as captain and um, for the season we had and I think I got seven or eight goals that year and um, it was just incredible. Man, record 14 please. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Stand by. Mark, just your journey here by coach, how much has it told you this is a very different night? What was it like out there? Uh, yeah, I mean, no, crazy. It took us an hour probably to get 200 yards, we sort of half uh, knew it was going to be like this, but one you've got to try and concentrate on the game. Is it a pressure, do you feel? For sure, it would be uh, hard to put the emotion aside, but um, we're going to try and win the game, for sure. Mark, have a good night. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Cheers.
Manchester United fight back. Can West Ham hang on for this famous victory? What a night for him! What a night for those fans! What a night for football! The cheers will fade! The cheers will remain in the memory! As the final curtain falls. To lead this club out of that stadium, out of Upton Park and the bowling, and to lead to lead the club into new stadium. For me, myself, who, who was brought up a West Ham fan and, lit, and lived two minutes away, to have that history behind me is, uh, is pretty special. I remember playing against Juventus and <laughs> I remember pressing straight away and uh, Danny Alves and Dybala, I think, I think they played 3-1-2s with their heads around me and I thought, oh, I can't really do that at this level. Um, but thoroughly enjoyable game. You know? Look, listen, as a West Ham fan, as a, as a kid, I remember making my, I think it was playing against Norwich at home um, in the cup and I went home and to my, to my house and sat on the end of my mum and dad's bed and I never forget my dad saying to me, um, like, you're a West Ham player now, no one can ever take that away from you. And if, 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 I, if my career would have stopped then, at that moment, I would have said, thank you very much, like, I'll go and get a job and uh, I played for West Ham, but to, to be five, nearly 500 games in, um, stuck with it through thick and thin and sad times, happy times and, and uh, yeah, and seen it through. Every time I have pulled on the shirt that people can say he might not have played well today or um, but he give it his all, do you know what I mean? And and to, to have the staff here and obviously I know nearly all of them apart from the new ones over here that um, probably I haven't met yet but um, that can say uh, he was good around the place and he looked after everyone and um, he was a good good servant and good ambassador for for the fans really because that is the club you know the, the, the fans of the football club and um, they're the ones that pay the money and they're the ones that come and watch and they buy these kits and um, without them there's no football club there really so um, if yeah if you can walk in this stadium in, in, in five years six years time when I am finished playing probably quicker than that actually um, that you can walk in with your held it at head held high and say, um, I give everything. Thank you.